Okay, you were just talking about the importance of a healthy immune system. So how effective is this product at raising your immune response? Well, there are a number of different measures that the uh, universities have used to test that very issue. The first thing they have to do is establish, well, what is normal? If I'm a perfectly healthy individual, a uh, 24-karat gold five-star athlete, at what level does my immune system respond? And that is measured, for example, in the way that your neutrophils, which are cells that are by far the major populations on any given day, maybe 50, maybe 70 percent of your white blood cell army are made up of neutrophils. So the question is, boy, you've got all these, not millions, not billions, but literally trillions of white blood cells, but how many of them come to your aid in the face of the challenge? The answer to that may be around 30 to 31 percent. Somebody said, well, wait a minute, now I'm, I'm healthy. My immune system's at 100 percent. Well, 100 percent in your brain is really only about 30 to 31 percent numbers-wise in the face of a challenge. And again, the assumption is you're perfectly healthy. Someone who is not healthy may not have the benefit of a 30 to 31 percent response. So you start off with a healthy population and you give them a very small dose of beta-glucan and then you double it. You measure the immune response again. You double that dose, measure the immune response again. So for example, one milligram, then two milligrams, then four milligrams, then eight milligrams, then 16 milligrams, on up the ladder. That's per kilo of body weight and you measure the immune response. Well, it tracks. It goes from maybe 30% to 35%, from 35% to 40%, from 40% to 48%, and so forth. Now, at some point, that dose curve will flatten out, and regardless of how much glucan you take, your immune response may not go up any higher than, say, 60 to 70%, but effectively, you've doubled your immune army that's involved in the fight. Now, there are other measures as well. Okay, you got more cells. How much more killing is each one of those cells? That one cell may double, triple, or quadruple in the amount of non-self entities that it confronts and gets rid of. Immune cells aren't always static. Immune cells of different types will travel all over the body. We refer to this as chemotaxis. So the ability of the immune cells to get to where they need to be on a timely basis, again, can be measured against a negative control. In other words, something like salt water. So you give salt water to the subject, you wouldn't expect to get any difference in immune response. That's what gives you that baseline. And then you give the beta-glucan a higher dose, a higher dose, a higher dose, and you examine then that dose curve. That's how we came up with our uh, suggestions for what you should be using to expect a reasonably good immune response as opposed to one that, again, where you want or you need additional immune support. is not just looking up at the sky and coming up with a number, but after repeated experiments over and over again, establishing the irrefutable facts of this dose, this response, increase the dose, you get an increased response.